All right, sticking to technology. So there's this company in Japan. I think it's called like Real F. But basically, this company is starting to sell hyper realistic masks of people's faces. What? Mm-hmm. So like, you can come to this company and just be like, I want you to make a mask of my face, and they'll take it, sell it to you, and they'll be able to sell that to anyone else that wants to buy. It. Obviously, like all your information, everything is is uh, protected. Just the face mask um, is sold. I think you get royalties off of it. I'm not sure. I don't remember if that was the case. What? <laughs> but this is, that's so this weird. Is really wild. But I look. would absolutely hate that. What's the? Well, you have to agree or disagree to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if you all want right, to. So, yeah. Now the mask isn't perfect. It's really realistic, but it's made of plastic. So what sucks is like you can't really replicate like facial movements and the way like your skin creases and yeah. stretches because it's plastic. But they're hoping like in the future they can kind of you know create some type of uh, material that can really like help replicate a lot of like the intricacies that the face does with, through its movements. But yeah, this is crazy. Like they they use it a lot. Well, a big client is uh like promoters, musicians, yeah. advertisement. I imagine like being like, a famous ass person, you want to buy a picture of like, I mean, uh, buy a mask of this person to like hide your identity, and, you know, walk around like a normal yeah. person for this once is in your really life. Strange. Um another one is they use it to train uh cars to detect if people are sleeping. Um like all automated driving cars so so they could uh you know for safety procedures um and like shit like that and basically like, the way they do it is like they just you know you come in they do a, a 3d scan of your face and then they 3d print your face after they 3d print it they take pictures the pictures of you and some guy or some like pro they start like putting in the details on like you know etching it out and shit and really like defining it, then they add the hair. And Damn. Yeah, it's in uh Sick. Atsu Japan. So if you, anyone's imagine, interested. Imagine just seeing yourself. Yeah, it's like a imagine little seeing cut out of your, your face. face on a human body and it's like you see weird. yourself walking around and shit. That, very, that'll very be weird. like that's kinda like the first time you actually like see yourself in person, if you think about it. Like not through a mirror or yeah. a picture or a video. Like that's wild. You could touch it. It's such an odd area. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a, that's a hard pass for me, honestly. <laughs> Damn, yo, no one's asking you to do it, but you should try just once. Yeah, well, <laughs> and let you know Change how it life. goes. Yeah, let, let you know how much money I make off of it. Imagine you make like you outsell Minecraft. <laughs> you sell oh like gone four hundred million copies of Denny's face God. on my face, well, dude. I want because we were talking about how AI can make like fictional faces. I wonder yeah. if they could just use this technology to create random faces and you could like imagine like you could change your identity. That could be bad. What if you're like gonna rob a bank and you just steal someone's identity and now everyone's looking for the opposite person? Like not only do you steal like their person, but now you steal like their physical identity. 